Hey, what's going on guys? Watson KHD here, back again with another Red Dead Online video. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you to five different locations that I personally love using to get easy money, easy ammo, easy food, and other essentials. Now guys, you may know all of these, and if you do, then I want to apologize right now. However, if you have any locations that you personally like using that aren't in this video, make sure to share them in the comments below. Anyway guys, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Okay guys, so for the first location, this is one that I'm sure most of you will know, but just in case you don't, this is where you can find it on the map, just above Little Creek River, just north of Strawberry, located in West Elizabeth. And everyone knows that if you come into this house, at the back by the stairs, there's a cabinet that you can search where you can find two pieces of jewelry. Now, now, just as we come into the hideout, there's an apple there. Heading inside the house, if you come up to the cabinet in the back, again, like I said a minute ago, there are two pieces of jewelry here, and uh, you can make some nice money off of them. If we uh, run over to this table, there's some ammo. You can find repeater cartridges. You can find revolver cartridges. On the other side of the table here, you can find some moonshine. If you come over and check the uh, kind of uh, shelving here, you can find some potent snake oil and some rifle cartridges. You can find some cigarettes on the mantelpiece. And that's not even touching the outside yet. I'm not going to go through the whole location, but there is just a bunch of stuff here. And this is definitely a go-to location if you're running short on essentials. It's a good place to make money off of the jewelry. There's also herbs in the surrounding areas that you can pick up. There's a bunch of food. There's ammo. There's tonics and other items similar to them. It's just an absolute must when you're going looting. So for our next location we have another gang hideout and you actually come here pretty early on during the story as well. So to get here you'll want to head over to Cumberland Forest just northeast of Valentine and you will come across this shack. Now this location hasn't got a bunch of items but it's the items that you can find here which is why it's featured in this video. So if we head inside this house and head to our left you will find a cabinet with some food and alcohol inside. You'll find some crackers on top of the cabinet as well as some shotgun slugs. These slugs increase range and accuracy and are so good to use. Now. I'm only rank 19 and to buy these slugs you have to be rank 44 so the fact that you can find them completely for free here is honestly quite amazing. There's a few items in here that are worth picking up but the slugs are definitely what you want. For our next location, you want to head west of Annensburg and east of Three Sisters until you come to this shack. Now, if you head inside the shack, to the right you will find a drawer that you can search and inside will be a piece of jewellery. And if you then head into the bedroom, you'll be able to pick up another piece of jewellery. Now inside this house, there's a bunch of other items like food, alcohol, ammo, miracle tonics, and a lot more that you can pick up. Definitely a place that you will want to loot. For our next location, you want to head north of Tumbleweed until you reach Rathskeller Fork. Now, this location is amazing for horse essentials, and I'll show you what I mean. So, here we are. We're at Rathskeller Fork, and you're going to see this kind of stable area. Now, if you head into the stables, on this little box here, you will actually find a horse stimulant, horse medicine, a horse reviver, as well as some classic oat cakes that you can feed your horse as well. Now, this isn't the only location in Rascular Fork where you can actually get these items. So from here, if you head left and go straight towards this wall, you're going to find another box with exactly the same items on them. One horse reviver, one horse stimulant, one horse medicine, and a box of classic oat cakes. Now once you've picked those up, if you head behind yourself 
and jump over this little bit of fence here out of the little kind of pen area and come all the way over to this location you're going to find a horse reviver a horse medicine and a horse stimulant again no classic oatcakes this time but i think it's fair to say we have a bunch of horse essentials and that should last us a little while now obviously you can do server hopping you could literally hop into another server and get all of these items again now in this location as well obviously you do have animals which makes this a prime location for obviously killing animals skinning them taking the pelts back taking their carcasses back and selling them to the butcher so if you're running low on horse supplies this is definitely a place you should visit for our fifth and final location you'll want to head slightly north from lake don julio until you reach this little house now this house is absolutely packed with essentials you have food you have alcohol you have cigarettes to restore your dead eye this is very similar to the first location i showed you the first location had loads of food loads of other items and this is roughly the same for the size of this location it does have quite a lot of items that you can pick up something which you don't really see in a lot of the bigger houses in red dead online and i think that this is an absolute must when you're in need of food or other consumables like food but anyway guys that brings us to the end of the video hopefully you guys didn't know about all of these locations and if you did be sure to leave some locations in the comments below which are good to loot which I haven't showcased in this video. Now guys if this video helped you out at all then a like down below would be amazing and if you could share this video around that would mean a bunch to me. Now if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything I upload. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.